Alright, this is episode um, 25? Yeah, 25. <coughs> so many things are changing. Especially, you know, we're surrounded by, you know, you got the Holy Roman Empire over there, there's Teen Empire over there. And not to mention, we've made, you know, new alliances with the newly converted Zoroastrians who are Russians. Russian Zoroastrians. It's wishful thinking if I want to have peace because I do know for a fact that in about. Oh, five years. Um, I thought it was going to be 1024. No, it's 1027. That's when another crusade should occur. And uh, when do I get rid of the uninspired? Because in about two years, I would like to write another book. And that would be about, you know, that would be about the military thing. Martial skill related theme of the book. Since, you know, I've been a brave warrior all these years, so I thought maybe I should put the knowledge to good use. Hold on, yeah. Got a couple of years ahead of me, especially being this healthy. Oh yes, this prisoner that I defeated him in a duel. He was the prostrator of the of the guard. If only I could recruit actually I can recruit him. I was about to say, if only I can recruit him, but no, I can. Lucky me. Could definitely make a commander out of him. As a matter of fact, let's switch that right now. Hey. Who's least? Also skilled to that. We got some decent commanders, competence, and now uh, we have Masterful around here. You know, just to play kiss up a few more, I'll make you the uh, Boar of the Empire, a prestigious honorary title dating back to the Sassanids. In Zoroastrianism, the Boar is closely associated with the Azad Varum, the epitome of victory. This honorific can only be bestowed by those of exceptional martial ability. You may not be Zoroastrian, but uh, it can give you that title as such. A little money wouldn't hurt anybody. There, now you're one of us. <laughs> That reminds me of the Zoroastrian conversion. Any more pagan nations that are willing to be converted? Big, big plans. One more thing. Just another cultural advancement because we're getting very, very close to the tolerance level where we can have full status of women. Oh, and one more thing. As I said, one more thing like two times. Just a note. Chinese Civil War up there. He likes Indian cultures. He, he dislikes um, Dravidian cultures, which is another Indian type culture down there in India. Something like that. And, uh, <coughs> I've got an increased amount of questions from Georgia lately about the Hura Mazda and the rituals of the Zoroastrian faith. Well, little girl, now that we converted your culture from Greek to Croatian, now you're no longer orthodox. Now we'll teach you about the Hura Mazda. But she's now Zoroastrian, so she's one of us now. Poland is at war. Against our newfound Zoroastrian friend. If you cause, we can help you. We are neighbors of Poland, I'll be willing to fight. 
It's about time I get into a war. No ambitions, right? No. Just when I was going to study, and in about two years, um, you better. Well, if I have to take these territories, that's where we're going to go on the southern front. If their armies are willing to meet us down here, I don't try to make quick to our newfound Zoroastrian friends up in Russia. And my, uh, Viking friend is now a Zoroastrian. Soon after Prohorde arrived at uh, Kopia, Hi, Chief Yamadan ordered his imprisonment. My mobile is now languishing in the dungeons of this pagan lord. Who can tell what savages will do to him? Vile heathens. So it's this. Oh. No need for hospital buildings, because we already are helping enough with keeping out diseases. Maybe increase the castle infrastructure. And a little bit of the cavalry as well. Be stronger and more. Don't spend too too much, we just hope that this isn't gonna be a long war. A building uh, Mayor Mislav was looking to reinforce should be torn down and replaced with sturdier houses and watchtowers. But Mayor Mislav assistant about something that could be done about them. I told him my honest opinion about the buildings. Hmm. The materials on the old houses could be used to erect better buildings. Oh, whoa, right in our backyard. What the hell is this about? It doesn't say anything about a revolt. What are you people mad of? L uh, led by a disgruntled former soldier. Oh, wait a minute, are you the guy who just, um... That I fired you from the, c from the commander's spot? Oh wow, they released him already. He's been humiliated. God damn it! God is Vladimir. Um. So yes, I kicked him out of the commander position, and now they uh, they got us in. You traitors! Guys like you deserve to be in prison. Now I want you to be in your house arrest, sit there, and think about your life. I didn't know it would have that much of an effect. Successful jihad for Yemen. Well, they have that part of it now. This tiny part here, it's habit. It's whatever to me. I shouldn't yell out cursed infidels, but rather say, yeah, whatever. Okay. Right, now that the whole army is assembled, um, off to. Where's their main army? Up there.
Matter of fact, I think we might want to forget about the captured territory. Just go help them. Just get up there and help them. Crush their armies. And if winter comes, split the army. Fight in guerrilla tactics because these are not, not organized land. Oh my goodness. So many of them. We'll fight head on then. This is why it's kinda eh, about fighting Poland. This is a stupid move. First they blasted into the Sorry I had to leave the battlefield. Just a creek. Oh, and another. And another. Okay, that's three prisoners in this battle. Sorry about that. <laughs> had to her Mazda cult for me, so I had to be in seclusion. Prisoners left and right. I thought they were a grand, grand army. Oh, and another. And another. And another. Man. These guys surrender easily. You know, them personally. The old de um, debilitating fear no longer holds me in this grip. During today's battle against Bishop Marek, I feel a sudden shame at not being in the front along some men. Why should I die for Croatia if I'm not, well, not myself? Tomorrow I should lead the front like a true queen. Um, uh, I shall win a glory or die in attempt. Wait a minute. I was rear guard? Now I'm frontline warrior. And yet another prisoner. Anybody else? Okay, that's two more. Here's an idea. Like if we were to be pulling so much and I looked up some of the independent factions, uh, at some of his, uh, vassals, uh, or well, one of them. Like aren't they part of an independence faction or something? Because if they were, then um, I wish they would fight an independence war to break up this huge Polish empire. I mean, they could, if they were to take more territory, such as up there, they would become known as the Windish Empire. <laughs> and then I'm surrounded by three empires at this point. So I'm a frontline warrior, not rear guard. I don't recall being on rear guard. <laughs> then, to me, to me, inspirational charge. And again, we're not winning this war because they kept losing territorial control. After we after we deal with those guys, get down there.
You have to start retaking those territories now. They're heading to Glitch Glacia. Meet them over there. Hold on. I've always imagined that I will be the first of us to go. Um, and now I am the one mourning for my departure, my dear friend. Never again I will hear Mislav's jolly laugh or receive his wise counsel. As if I have lost an essential part of myself. I feel so powerless. He wouldn't want me to cry, so let's drink in his honor. Spend it at a local tavern in Croatia or a uh, glitch. I probably had one drink too many when I joined at a table by an equally intoxicated man. It takes me a few sec, two minutes, few minutes re to realize that it surely must be Dragon. We spent quite some time drinking together and sharing our sorrows. My errand's spabod. Perhaps a new friend is just what I need. He is a part of that army. Two prisoners. So yeah, he's out there. If we could capture him, then this whole war will go... We'll go turn around and, uh... <laughs> and we will then we'll win. Well, they win, not us. We're just helping. Keep crushing the uh, Polish army down there. That's their main army, rather than those vassals. Okay, they lost a war. They must have taken all the territory and... Or knowing that he can't really fight and... Therefore, uh, they had to surrender. At least we still have a country to run. So now they own this part of the country. I think they were just fine just for these two counties. Yeah, just those two counties. They're not part of the Wendish Empire. No, they're not. And I don't know if these guys want my help again. Or what about them? Or are they like? Could I at least have some peace around here? I've noticed that Marshal Dragon's hard work and everyone seems to like him. I'm deciding between having my Marshal, hiding the morale, while the troops try to recruit more soldiers. Uh, just recruit because we just had a war. It would make sense. Fighting two of your wars. Look, just let me refill my troop numbers then I'll help you. Even though you'll probably lose in time. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. Now let me settle down and be patient.
Now what's taking so long with that one conversion to this other Russian tribal state? Now I know what it's like fighting against Poland. But quite a bit hard. Go to prayer and meditation again. Still can't be ever vigilant. Guess temperate is going to be the only virtue I would be best known for. Oh yeah, when do I get to write that book? December 3rd, alright. be spent elsewhere till that time. How much money does it cost to compose another book? Okay, now I can. <laughs> to compose a work of literature is, is not an undertaking for everyone. Having spent a lot of time thinking it over, I have some of my closest advisors and fetched the best scribes. When they ask me uh, what this work shall be focused on, I pause only for a second. I'll be tackling the complexity of war or something along those lines. I'll choose a martial theme. Oh yeah, all these prisoners. Huh. All these prisoners that we've been capturing. Call me a godless fool. And a stupid fool. Rude, rude people. What's Pullman doing? Oh, the Jor War. That's part of defending against. Well, then again, I kicked their asses so much, and so now they're fighting on their own backyard. I'm basically just gonna do nothing, keep raising money, unless I have a very good excuse of why I should fight those wars of our Zabrastrian Russian friends. Don't worry about it. Culture's flourishing. It's a wonder how, when, whenever this m man passes away, the kingdom of Jerusalem will be independent, and uh, then the Muslims will have an easy time fighting Jerusalem, <coughs> and the cycle starts again. Banished from that part of Russia. Well then. How about way up there? Run by the uh, Smetsko pagans. Bulgarian Holy War for less of Poland. 
Well, I still have a bone to pick with them. Give me a moment. I'll go to seclusion right now. Just let me go to my prayers. And I'll start raising armies and fight against Poland on the southern front. We'll just capture quick. Alright. I mean, you don't need to get maximum numbers, but just just to write them out. And we just hope for no disgruntled peasants. Oh. Bavaria is going to be fighting and so does Austria. Oh boy, you created a wider conflict. But at least their Vasilis can declare war because he can't do a damn thing about it. We had a wide war in the East, we're now we're gonna have a wide war closer to home. And it's for less opponent, which you're basically just gonna right in the middle. Smack dab in the middle. Not my problem. Don't want to deal with this bullshit of a vampire hysteria like it was back in my childhood. Ooh. This will definitely try not conference. So you had uh, with a learning skill in mind. And I'm gonna assign him somebody pious. Like this one. These are the kind of wars that we've come to. Wide scale wars involving big nations. Duking out one another. And another friend of mine is gone. No, I'm gonna need a. Uh... Okay, whenever who's not doing what. Just for starters. go down to Bulgaria and save our friends there. Wait a minute, that's feudalized? No, just this area here. I was wondering, why is there a castle in town? I thought this land is tribal. Instead, it's a weak, weak castle, so we'll take all these easily. Yeah, after you capture those holdings, go down to Bulgaria and deal with the, uh, the Austrasians. Yaroslavian Holy War from Mordva. Good. It's too bad I can't help you right now, but... If we were to loot money out of these holdings, or ransom these prisoners, maybe I'll donate you some money. Maybe you could use mercenaries. Ah, oh, they took Tarnival. Uh, 
uh 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 where do you think you're going you're gonna be fighting on my terms wait a minute holy roman empire is involved too oh my goodness this is might as well be a world war World War One went out there. This is in Zaklumia. <laughs> Killing the mayors and the breaking down buildings. Stupid folks. Oh, I forgot to assign a commander for our other flank. But it's not that big of a deal. We have our Jewish court physician. Well, he's not Jewish, Jewish, but, you know, has a bit of a heresy. Okay, that's it. Who is the useless coward? That guy has failed me for the last time. I wonder how I use the Star Wars on you. have failed me for the last time. We don't tolerate cowards in this army. Yeah. Today is the sad day. The hedgehog I took into my house said, uh, that faithfully hunted down vermin has passed away. Today is the day of mourning and sorrow. Never there was a better hunter. Stupid folks again. Now retake Tonova. Bulgaria, once again you've started a war that'll be costly for us. Maybe costly in a long term. So we're taking your capital back and then we'll be on our way up to Poland as winter turns to spring by then. Because we're going back up to the Eastern Front. The ill-fated Eastern Front. Especially when they got the Holy Roman Empire out there. But at least they got their hands full. Austria and Bavar will be on their full support. Orthodox uprising. Shit. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Can't let these freaks, uh... Yeah. It's quite expensive, uh... This next ruler, who, which I believe will be a great member of the trade league, he could do that trade route thing again. Stop them! your problem anymore. Now get back up there. We wasted a half a year for this. Oh dear God almighty. Here we go again. This is something that I've been waiting for. His Holiness Pope Alexander II is worried about the state of the souls in the Kingdom of Croatia. The heathens under Queen Jadriga of Croatia have no hope for salvation and will suffer the internal fires uh, they can be brought to Christ in this life. Any Christian so willing is offered complete absolution of sins in the yard mission against the Zoroastrian barbarians. 
calls me a retro queen. Look at you. You're possessed. You're a lunatic. You may be tempered like I am. Peasant leaders, the Jews are cruel. You're not gracious. You are doing this for evil. You're not doing this for your Christ or your whatever. You second me. And now you declare a crusade against us Zoroastrians who are peace loving people that we fought to defend our interests or at least these expansionist Bulgarians and Russians alike. But at least we can have help. Now we have to return home. So we'll cut this epi short episode short here. So um, <coughs> all this has been the first couple of years has been turning into nothing but short of a becoming World War like, and now it's basically turned into World War One here, and in, in the medieval version of it. And now the fate of Croatia is in all of us. Um. <coughs> so that'll do it for um, this episode. Turn it next time for for the homeland war of Croatia. So until then, so long for now. <laughs>